Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today we're going to be going into what I use to clean the interior of my car. I recently on Black Friday of 2019 purchased the 2020 Kia Telluride and even before that I've always taken really good care of my cars. I hate having a dirty car so if you're one of those people that are either looking into keeping your car cleaner or you're a person that likes to have your car clean I'll show you what I use and uh in a future video, I will actually go over how exactly I clean the interior of my car. So what we have here, I purchased a car organizer. You can get these at Walmart or you know any store basically with a auto parts section. But I ordered mine off of Amazon. You can get them in multiple different sizes. This one runs around $20 and it works very well. Uh, you can change the size of it. So if you're not using one portion, you can actually connect it to where it won't take up as much space. So it's really nice. It's got pouches all the way around it. You can see the elastic straps down here where I keep all my air fresheners. Uh, over here on the left side, you have a pouch, a little Velcro pouch. I keep a little squeegee and stuff in here. Or when I'm cleaning the exterior of my car, I do also have a cart over here specifically for detailing the outside of my car. You got another pouch over here, Velcro, and more elastic pouches like this on the other side. And then it also does come with tie downs. So if you're, you know, setting it somewhere specifically in the vehicle, you don't want it to move around. I just set mine in there. It never moves around, but it does come with tie downs, so you can strap it down in your car. In this section is going to be all my cleaning chemicals. In this section is going to be my drying rag for when I wash my car. And here are my used microfiber towels in case I, in case I need to clean something that's dirty uh, and I don't want to ruin a brand new rag but those are the dirty ones and once it's full like it is now i'll take them in and i'll wash them air dry them and uh stack them over here where i keep my clean towels for uh cleaning the vehicle because i don't like to mix chemicals in more than one chemical into a rag because uh certain chemicals are made for certain things so over there i have my clean microfiber towels make sure anytime you're using microfiber towels, if they have a tag on them, rip them off so you're not scratching anything, especially if you're cleaning the outside of your car. And then recently I purchased the Armor All 12 volt vacuum because it's easy to travel with. It does a very good job cleaning the car. Um, and it's actually really cheap compared to a lot of them that you'll find online. Now this one is not battery powered. This one is 12 volt, runs right off your car. Uh, and does a really good job. It runs just over $20. Now the $40 and $50 ones that are battery operated are good, but I don't want to take the chance of being somewhere wanting to vacuum my car and the battery being dead or anything like that. So I find this to be a really good value for what you get. So I have a nice little portable vacuum in my car that I can use at any time. So getting into the chemicals, uh, I'm going to take you up on the workbench and we'll go through each one. Okay, YouTubers. So getting into the actual chemicals itself, I do use a few different brands. Uh, for specific things and a couple of them I don't I am out of right now but I will also give you a list of some other things that I will be purchasing here in the near future and I'll probably be doing a, a video on those as well um, but I use a lot of chemical guys a couple of things from Meguiar's uh, a couple things from Turtle Wax it all just depends on what I'm really cleaning and you know what I've tried and what I like and that's ultimately going to be up to you as well but Everything I've used here, uh, I really enjoy. So starting off with glass cleaner, I actually use Sprayway. This isn't the specific one I wanted. There's one with a white cap. Um, I'm not sure if the chemicals are any different, but it's not actually a car glass cleaner. Every car glass cleaner I've used, it always tends to leave streaks. Even when you can't see it, you know, you clean the windshield, it looks good. And then you come out in the morning, let's say there's a little bit of fog on the window or condensation or, you know, something. Uh, and you can just see streaks everywhere. And no matter how much I'm up there, you know, scrubbing away with the dry microfiber towel, it's just a pain in the butt to get rid of all those streaks. And Sprayway actually works very, very well. I do believe uh, AutoZone or O'Reilly's carries the specific one I was looking for, but I didn't see it at the time, so this is what I recently purchased. But this stuff works great uh, for a nice streak-free shine. Now, there's not any protectant in this. It's not like your car cleaning ones where it's like, uh, you know, rain away or whatever. But 
it works very, very well. So that's what I use, and it's only a couple dollars. As far as tire shine, some gels I do like, but uh, I don't know. I don't like to, when I do that, I spend way too much time cleaning my tires than I should. And I just find the Armor All tire foam works very well. You just spray it on, and you're good to go. Um, now, obviously, if your tires are really dirty with like mud or something, you, you want to clean them off. Uh, before spraying this on, but it does have a very nice tire shine and it lasts quite a while. So I use this Getting into the interior For the carpets after I vacuum them. I do use the turtle wax carpet and mats this stuff not only works very well It's easy to use but it has a really nice scent to it. I think it smells nice and clean uh, It's not overbearing and it just keeps the car smelling new so all of these items are going to be a couple dollars up to like ten dollars. And then as far as interior cleaner, I use the McGuire and the Chemical Guys interior, total interior cleaner. So I use these for different things. This has a natural shine to it. I used to like a lot of shine, but I don't care for it now. I like a nice, clean, natural shine. Keep things looking the way they are, nice and new. And... The reason I like McGuire's, once again, it also has a very nice scent to it. Um, it's a natural shine, so you're not, you know, it's not high gloss on your dash or doors or anything like that. Uh, it's natural. Huh, that's funny. And so that's what I use on most of the dash and stuff like that. But when it comes to things that I don't want all streaky or get this chemical on, uh, there's, you know, piano black and stuff like that. Maybe my touch screen. Uh, stereo, the air conditioner knobs. I want to clean all that, but I don't want streaks or a chemical actually being on it. I use the Total Interior Cleaner. Uh, it has a nice scent. It's very, very subtle, uh, but it works really well. And as you can see, you can use it on nav screen, dashboard, glass, leather, and vinyl. I just usually use it basically on the nav screen and the piano black in my car. Uh, and that works really well and Walmart is actually starting to carry chemical guys. I order a lot most of mine on Amazon. It's the same price So anytime I do see it in Walmart if there's something I want I'll grab it there anything else. I just uh, Grab on Amazon which I will try and link all of these down in the description I'll try and create a tab specifically for car cleaning Since I will be doing a few more videos on that Get into a few other items that I have here Starting off, this is, we'll just go with the simple stuff. These are just scents from Chemical Guys. Uh, they have a lot of different uh, scents. I like the ease of this and how long it lasts. The new car I've only used a couple times. These came as a set, I want to say for $11, so it was a really good price. Uh, the new car, obviously I want my car to keep smelling like it is new. and then my car is leather and I love the scent of leather. Now the little trees leather scent and a whole lot of other leather scent items I've tried do not smell authentic or anything like leather to me. Uh, this is literally the closest thing I have found to actual leather scent and it smells good. It's subtle. It's fresh, and my car smelled like leather when I bought it, and I love that scent, so this works very well. So I do use this quite a bit more than I use the car's, uh, new car smell. But once again, a really good deal. You get 16 fluid ounces in each, and it's it was roughly $11 for both of them. For cleaning my leather, I use this leather quick detailer. It cleans, restores, and protects chemical guys they do have a lot of different uh, leather protectors and uh, chemicals for leather. But this is the one that I first saw at Walmart, so I tried it out. Once I'm done with this, I might try one of their other leather cleaners, but this one tends to work really well, especially my interior leather is considered like a, a white gray, but it looks more white than anything. So with the job I have, it's hard to stay clean, but I have protectors over the seat that I sit in. It's just a seat protector, not a car seat seat cover or anything like that but this stuff does a really good job uh, nice leather scent as well so I really like this stuff works very well 
stay tuned for the video where I use all of these so you guys can see how well they work. Next up is the wheel cleaner. Uh, I actually haven't used this yet because the weather's been horrible here and right now it's like a monsoon outside so there's no sense in cleaning the exterior of my car because it wouldn't do any good. So stay tuned for my thoughts on the wheel cleaner and keep in mind they have multiple different chemicals for the same thing just you know tiny differences and uh, what you're looking for whether you're looking for a shine on things a natural look uh, a cleaning chemical or a protecting chemical things like that next up is the bare bones dark shine undercarriage protection this I use because the bottom portion of my car is that black plastic goes around the wheel wells stuff like that um, and it tends to get dirty faster than the rest of my car you can tell that it's dirty faster than the rest of my car and I like that black to stay nice deep dark black and clean so I use this not only on that black trim but also on the undercarriage such as inside the wheel wells and stuff like that uh, I have a lot of black plastic obviously in there and this does a really good job of keeping that really nice clean dark shine so that's a great product as well like I said a lot of these products run around ten dollars chemical guys they do have a few products that are going to range anywhere from roughly sixteen dollars to forty dollars just depending on what type of chemical is it it is whether it's a sealant or a like a hybrid sealant or ceramic coating or anything like that waxes you know the exterior stuff that's gonna you know it provides a a longer span of protection on your car it's gonna run a little bit more money the other thing that I really like is this Swift Wipe Waterless Car Wash. Uh, you can clean your car with this. Now, I don't do that. I will just wash my car. This I actually use for after a car wash. Let's say I get my car wash, I drive home, and obviously the streets are dirty, so by the time I get home, I have that splatter from the wet wheels uh, throwing a little bit of dirt and stuff up on the side of the vehicle or on that black trim. This stuff not only smells absolutely amazing, I know it's on the outside of the car, but it smells absolutely amazing, um, and it does a really good job of just cleaning off that light dirt and debris that hits your car uh, on short drives and stuff like that. So it keeps the car looking good in between car washes. That's what I use it for, and it works really well. So that's it as far as my chemicals and stuff so far, but I will be picking up the Chemical Guys Woolly Mammoth. Uh, drying towel this thing's huge it absorbs a lot of water and can hold up to a gallon of water so you can dry your entire car with it uh, I will also be picking up the mr. pink suds it's the wash for the exterior uh, and I'll be getting a soap blaster as well so I'll do an entire exterior cleaning video as well I'll be picking up the silk and shine uh, to try out on the trim as well another speed wipe a Diablo gel which is for tires uh, a tire shine and then the Chemical Guys V7 Hybrid Sealant Detailer um, just to you know seal the car after a wash. And we'll see how all that does. So if you guys are interested in Chemical Guys, go ahead and check out the description. I'll try and link a lot of these products down there for you guys. And stay tuned for future videos of interior and exterior cleaning of my car. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, please hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below. And as always, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. See you guys in the next one.